it is time to have some makers. Blah. Welcome to Kilco Whiskey Musings. My name is Brian, and we are having quite a few makers today. Well, just one today. Later, I'll have more. Here we have it. The Generations of Proof, brought to you by viewers like you. That is a true statement. The only reason I have this in my hands right now is because of the people who watch my streams and donated enough money for me to buy this. It was a little expensive. I do not have $100 lying around, so thank you to all of you who donated for me to get it. Before I go any further, a uh, tiny bottle, by the way. But also, I have a Patreon. Link below. I could go into a long rant about how it's great and everyone should, you know, sign up. But, you know, if you want to go ahead, it supports the channel. Done. Done! I will start by pointing out this is a private select edition by Rob Samuels, who is the grandson of the founders. 108.5 proof, 54.25% alcohol. Oh, gosh. And... Uh, 2020 edition because we all love 2020 don't we this is the back side and it shows that we have baked american pure number two seared french curve baker's 46 toasted french spice and those are all different barrel staves that's so fancy so fancy i realized i couldn't read how many it was because i was holding this up to the camera it looks like three three two and two it came with a little pamphlet i will try to remember to read this later but it's very long, so I'll save it for later. We want whiskey first. Whiskey first! Opening whiskey first. Okay. Hmm. Oh. Slowly and carefully now. Thankfully getting that little part off isn't that difficult, but um, the corks can be a little weird lately. I think they're fake. Mm-hmm. It was actually super easy, and yeah. Not real cork. Gasp! That's not creepy at all, is it? I'm trying this out at the moment. It is, it is much more tricksy than I want it to be. I'm not left-handed, for one thing. But, uh, here you go. Here's the color. Give it a good look, because this is really difficult. Yeah, this is much harder than it looks. But there's the color against the neutral background. Hopefully I put the little thing up so I can figure this out later. You tell me what color it is. This is, this is not comfortable. I won't do this again. I have not had any whiskey all day, so this is going to be glorious, I hope. Begin nosing technique. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I sometimes get a cherry note off of uh, Makers. Surprise, there's a cherry note. There seems to be a milk chocolate in here. And the spices are nice, too. I feel like I'm getting a... I'm, I'm a little confused. It's either cinnamon, apple, or maybe a cinnamon apple pastry. I don't know when Apple showed up, but it feels like it's in there. There seems to be a brown sugar thing as well. I think I'm getting... Is it anise? It's like that weird sort of a black licorice thing. It's not prominent. It feels like it's in there somewhere. And really the spices on this are what are grabbing my attention the most. It smells like a bakery. And I'm salivating, so let's get on to the next part of this. It really smells lovely, though. This is still the most awkward part of the video. It's always going to be awkward. Ooh. Very spicy. Oh. No. Not a huge burning going down. Oh, wait. A little bit. A little bit. That always seems to be the case. I'm thinking a gingerbread cookie is funny enough. Oh. A little bit of oak. Not drying at all. One of the few things I can at least figure is when all the moisture decides to be sucked out of my tongue. That is not the case with this one, thankfully. Not that that's a bad thing, because uh, that often makes you want to drink a little more. I'm having that moment where my initial sip makes me want to have another sip, though. Ooh. That was a chocolate note again. Or is that a char? Is that dark chocolate? Ooh, 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 ooh. It should be no surprise that I do enjoy this. It is different from the other makers, but the proof doesn't taste like it's there. Which is both good and bad, depending on uh, how you consume your alcohol. Let us go to the phase where I abuse my tongue momentarily. People like that, I think. Mm. 
Whoa. Oh yeah, spice is all over the place. Tongue tingles galore. Oh, it's delicious. Why is it delicious? Kind of caramelly. Only a hint of oak, honestly. It's a little fruitier than I remember. I guess I should say peppery too, because it's just lighten up. Just it's reminding me of some kind of candy bar. Not necessarily caramel. That seems like it's too sweet. Uh, I don't know which candy. I also want to say those uh, those cherries that have like chocolate on them. If you've ever had those, I forget what they're called. But even that, those things are ridiculously sweet. And this is not as sweet as you'd expect. Actually, some of the wood notes come forward and just so it's balanced. I guess is what I want to say. It's balanced. All right, one more sip, then we'll get on to this uh, new and brave world that we're heading into. Hmm. Stupidly good. Ugh. I haven't had a private select in a long time. I've actually had a different kind of private select years ago, but I never did a video on it because I wasn't officially making content at that time, but now I am. I must try every single private select there is. Send them to me now. Oh, if only it worked like that. Someday. I've been getting lots of samples. It's been glorious. I won't lie. Once again, I am trying something different for this video. Let's see how long it sticks because I've changed things so many times. But I am using a Whiskey Smith's thing. I should put it up here somewhere. Hopefully, I'm beginning with the appearance. For appearance, we have the color. We'll start there. Hopefully, you can read this on the screen. Again, this is all new. But I would go with amber. Amber is kind of the color I like for my whiskey. But again, you tell me what color you think it is. There's a list there. I'm not going to rattle them all off. Clarity. That's new. Pretty clear to me. Sediment. I imagine that's a thing for some whiskeys. I don't think I've ever had a whiskey with sediment in it. I, I'm not sure. But I know there's something called uh, chill filtering on there, which people don't seem to like. I have no idea if that was or wasn't done with this. I will assume it wasn't. But usually they're pretty fond of saying non-chill filtered on many bottles. Many bottles. We have viscosity here, too. Oh, okay. She got legs. Ah, oh, shoot, that song's stuck in my head now. It does have legs. It's lovely. I'm going to try to rock it through the rest of these. The nose. Going with intensity first. See, it's a three. Wasn't crazy. Age. I go with moderate. It certainly looks like it's been aged a decent amount of time. I assume less than 10 years. I have no idea. Grain. Corn, malt, wheat, other. Oh. I'm going to assume this is pretty heavy on the corn side. And there's very likely wheat, because Maker's Mark, and I actually remembered something. <laughs> to find out for myself, I looked this up, and I can tell you that their regular Maker's is 70% corn, 16% wheat, 14% barley. Smoke. None. Let's see what the magical chart can tell me about spices. I would say definitely cinnamon. A little leathery. I did say anise earlier. There's no mint on this one. On to sweet. Is there vanilla on this? Maybe caramel. I did say caramel. There's got to be some kind of caramel note. I like the idea of honey. Ooh, I did say chocolate. Mm, I wouldn't say corn syrup. I'm tempted to, but it's not sweet enough. It's not making me... There's a certain level of sweetness that I at least can figure out, because I know for certain if something is too sweet, I do not. And that's possible. I didn't know that was possible, but it, it's possible. And if you're wondering what kind of sweetness that is, if you've ever had dessert wines, some of those I just cannot drink. It's just too much. Next is floral. I don't see anything that really sticks out. Honeysuckle, but... I don't remember the last time I smelled a honeysuckle anything. So I'll say nothing floral about it. Fruit? Oh, please tell me cherry's on here. Cherry is on there. Good. And I said, um... Was it apple as well? Or was it a baked apple or something or a pastry? I'm just gonna drink one more now. Not gonna go with sulfur. No, peat. No, that's just not gonna be on this. This is sweet and delicious and bourbony. It'll glance at earth, but it feels like these last three are very scotch oriented. Although there's hay on here. Up on the on the list. 
And now that I've you know read that, I'm like, oh, there's a little bit of halo on this. The only other two things I'm looking at, well, three things I'm looking at in the Earth category are nutty, wood, and tea. I can't be certain I'm getting any of those. I don't think I'm getting nutty. That's always one that's been kind of elusive to me. Wood, I feel like I have to say oak because oak barrels. I don't know why tea has got my attention. You know what? I, mean, I watched a video earlier today on matcha tea, and that's probably all it says. I don't even know if I remember what matcha tastes like, or smells like for that matter, but it's creeping around my brain at the moment. Begin palate section. Flavor. Sweet. Definitely. Proof. Well, I read what the proof was. Uh, I wouldn't say it's high, because high for me is over 60. This was in the 50-ish? Oh, God, I already forgot. I'll probably stick with three. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what is what in my head. It's like 40% would be low, 50% would be medium, and anything above 60 would be as high as I can think it would be. I think I've only had one or two that are over 60, and that is noticeable. Body. Oh, suddenly I'm body conscious. Just sit straight. Shoulders back. I don't exactly understand that, because right under it is texture, and that's always what I kind of equated it to. But, I'll say two for body, although I'm going to look it up later to try to figure out exactly what that means. I looked it up. It didn't really clarify anything for me between body and texture. Body! This is a hard term to explain. Clearly. But it basically refers to the way a whiskey feels in your mouth. I assumed that was texture, but I'm just as confused as ever now. I want to say round? I don't really know why. It's like, you know, I guess the only way I can describe it perfectly is it has a nice start, you know, really spicy and delicious in the middle, and it just kind of fades off. Sticks around a little bit, but not for an extended amount of time. Thus, round balance. Oh. I would say it is spicy. Not overly spicy, but the uh, baking spice is a real finish. Mm, I would give it a four. I'm sitting right now after having sipped it moments ago, but it does seem to last. Not in a bad way, but it does give you that kind of, oh, I'll drink more now thing. Maybe it's just because it's pretty damn tasty. Complexity. I guess I'd give this a three for complexity because it's nothing mind-blowing where I'm just overwhelmed by everything that's going on. I would say it does have quite a bit of character to it. Not an extreme amount. But it is certainly whiskey I could sit here and just talk to for a little while. You're very good. Part of this is just to figure out who Rob Samuels is. And of course, as I know, and you will know momentarily, he is the grandson of the founder of Maker's Mark. On to the blip. The process. When my grandparents started our family distillery in 1953, they made some bold moves. In particular, they incorporated soft red winter wheat instead of rye that's usually found in bourbon. This made for a more refined yet bold tasting bourbon. The private select program allows individuals to create their own personal version of Maker's Mark by selecting specific virgin oak finishing staves designed to accentuate taste notes naturally occurring in our bourbon. This special oak stave combination is my second edition release working alongside the Costco Spirits team to craft a truly unique Maker's Mark. Our selection has a zesty aroma of fall apples. Oh, sweet! With savory notes of clove and salted caramel on the palate, I'm so happy I read this. The finish is long with bright notes of fruit. We made these notes even brighter by bottling at cast strength. Enjoy. Well, I am certainly glad I read this. Uh, I thought it was just going to be kind of a spoof to just read this, but there are actually a few tasting notes in here that I agree with, and I'm glad I was able to pick out. And that is what I needed because I need some kind of verification that I'm doing this properly. And really, I just want to drink all the whiskeys. All the whiskeys. I now decided that this little pamphlet is, of course, the official uh, tasting notes that I desired, even though I didn't know they were on here when I started reading it. But also because with private select options, it's going to be different for every little bottle they produce, because that's kind of the deal. If I had to get used to doing this left-handed, it is not easy. Till next time, live long and prosper. Don't forget to be awesome. And sláinte. Thank you for joining me on Kilco. Please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.